HP have created an industrial niche half-bred mobile workstation in the ZBook X2G4 aimed at professional creatives. The X2G4 is stuffed with high-end horsepower. Is the promise of Adobe's Pacific hardware in the tablet format enough to attract users to the ZBook? There's a lot to cover so we'll dive right in. The ZBook X2 G4 has a distinctive design with cut-off corners and vents covering half the back of the tablet. It's a unique style that is miles away from the Surface Pros of the world. The ZBook X2 is a versatile tablet offering multiple modes alongside the Bluetooth detachable keyboard. There are the traditional laptop and tablet modes, detach mode to draw on the tablet but still have the keyboard nearby, finally dock mode to connect the tablet to a bigger monitor. There's a solid kickstand that folds back the Xbook to an almost flat 160 degree angle for stylus work. The hinges are well constructed and nicely designed with a large rotation barrel. The X2 G4 weighs in at 1.65 kilograms for the main tablet and 2.17 kilograms with the keyboard included. Certainly not a laptop to carry around with you too often. When you fire up the Xbox X2 G4, the Dreamcolor 14 inch 4K 10 bit display panel hits you straight away. It's a gorgeous IPS screen with an anti glare finish suited to creative application. Vibrant colours show off the full 100% Adobe RGB colour gamut. The fact that the colours of this display are true and not oversaturated is important for creatives. Maximum brightness is strong without being overpowering. The matte screen has also been chemically etched, which both reduces glare, eye fatigue, and provides a textured feel that enhances the use of the Wicom EMR stylus technology. HP's ZBook X2 pen is excellent to use. You've got 4092 levels of pressure sensitivity as well as tilt sensitivity. The stylus feels comfortable in the hand and has a good thickness allowing natural drawing and writing. There's no lag or jitter when using Photoshop or Illustrator. Another bonus of the Wicom EMR technology is the pen doesn't need a battery as it draws power from the screen. However, there is only one button on it which may be limiting to airbrushes and some CAD workers. On the left side we have a headphone microphone combo port. Below that is the power button followed by the volume up and down buttons. Lastly there's a Kensington lock. On the upper part of the right side is the fingerprint scanner, SD media card reader. Further down you have one USB 3.0 charging, HDMI 1.4, two USB 3.1 Type-C Thunderbolt 3 with display port 1.2 and a power connector. The ZBook X2 houses an Intel dual band wireless AC 8265 card with wireless 2x2 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2 combo. Wi-Fi with the X2 was excellent throughout testing. The detachable backlit keyboard gives designers a bit of flexibility, allowing them to either leave the keyboard behind in the office or use the ZBook X2 G4 as a conventional laptop with a keyboard attached. It also acts as a protector for the screen when transporting the ZBook. When you detach the keyboard, there's a little power button on the inside of the attachment bar, allowing the Bluetooth keyboard to connect to the ZBook X2 wirelessly. There's also a micro USB port used for charging the keyboard's internal battery. For added security authentication options, the left of the keyboard has a smart card slot. The slot can be also used for a pen loop stylus holder. The keyboard itself is nicely designed and feels solid. Key travel is good when typing on the full size keys. The touchpad is on a robust base with minimal flex. It's a good size click pad with good touch gestures. The two buttons feel tactile and solid. The side bezels are very thick to accommodate the 12 hardware buttons, six on the left and six on the right side. All the buttons are programmable except the mode switching button on each side. Three small LED lights above the top button on each side indicate the model level the programmable buttons are in. There's 18 custom programmable functions in a bezel on a per application basis, leaving you with an extremely efficient way to work in Premiere Pro, Photoshop etc without the need for the keyboard. The top firing Bang & Olufsen tuned speaker positioned is muted at best, disappointingly lacking punch and bass, plus the volume could be a little louder on the stereo speakers. Okay for personal content consumption, but poor if you want to show off your creative work to a client. Luckily the headphone jack is provided when working on Premiere Pro. The front facing 720p HD webcam is equipped with IR blasters and RGB camera. Dual microphones also allow Microsoft Teams voice and video chats with colleagues and clients. Video quality is average at best. The sensors fully support Windows Hello face recognition and work well in practice. For the rare occasion there's an 8 megapixel rear camera but don't bet your life savings on the image quality. On this review model, the ZBook X2 G4 is powered by an Intel i7-8550U with 16GB of DDR4 RAM and 512GB of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. Graphics is looked after by an integrated Intel HD Graphics 620 in a discrete NVIDIA Quattro 
M620 GPU with 2GB of dedicated GDDR5 memory. The KB Lake Refresh CPU handles normal day-to-day -day tasks with ease. However, we want to know how it handles specialized multimedia tasks like image editing, 3D rendering, and video encoding. With these tasks, the ZBook X2 finished in the middle of the pack compared to competition like the Surface Book 2, Surface Pro, and the HP ZBook 15. Two fans, one for CPU and the other for GPU, suck cool air at the large side vents and push the heat up and away from the user. It's warm when taxed but not hot to the touch. The dual fans are very quiet and hardly kick up even with load. As the HP ZBook X2 G4 was built around the use of Adobe CC, the app is pre-installed ready for you to log in with your CC paid subscription and start downloading your chosen Adobe applications. Photoshop, Lightroom and Premiere Pro all worked brilliantly here. I was able to have multiple files open in all of these Adobe apps without feeling any lag or slowdown of the system. With the dedicated NVIDIA M620 GPU, you are better able to edit 4K video. Other laptops without this can do it, but they'll struggle. Pinch to zoom was smooth and clean in Photoshop and Lightroom along with the support for tilt sensitive controls in the brushes while working in PS. Having more space to play with in Premiere Pro thanks to the buttery 4K panel is a real work productivity bonus. Don't expect the ZBook X2 workstation graphics to easily handle games. The M620 will only play games at low to medium settings at most. The HP ZBook X2 has a long life 4 cell 70 watt hour battery. On maximum settings expect around 4.5 hours general usage. On low to medium usage expect around 6 to 7 hours. Bottom line is that you're unlikely to get a full day's work from this system without recharging at some point. Luckily HP provide fast charging with the 90 watt external AC power adapter. Three pro Pros and cons before buying the HP ZBook X2 G4 detachable workstation. Detachable keyboard. The Bluetooth keyboard gives you the freedom to draw on the tablet while typing or using shortcut keys with the other hand. Plus a bonus, the keyboard is pretty good to type on. Excellent Wicom pen. The HP stylus is really comfortable and natural in the hand. A great partner to the matte 4K screen with excellent sensitivity and tilt from the Wicom pen. Unlike the Apple Pencil, the HP stylus doesn't need to be charged, ever. No need to carry a charging cable around with you. Amazing 4K screen. Colours from the 4K panel are true to life, vibrant, yet not oversaturated or unnatural. The matte display reduces glare and improves viewing angles really well. Matte is definitely better for creating art, but for reviewing a drawing, glossier screen might be preferable. Moderate battery life. The battery life is good for the components inside, but it won't last a full day without charging. Heavy and bulky. While the X2G4 has a solid build to military grade, it's big and ungainly for a tablet. Don't expect to use it like a painter's palette with a stylus. Graphics could be better. The NVIDIA Quattro M620 in our review unit is a low to mid-range certified GPU. The 1060 NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphics in the Surface Book 2 is more powerful for the money, but in fairness this is in laptop mode only. The HP ZBook X2 G4 is a specialised detachable workstation designed for digital artists and creators. HP are packed in a gorgeous display, fantastic stylus, shortcut keys to Adobe apps and power in a well-built tablet. The Bluetooth keyboard is comfortable to type on and gives you workflow flexibility in laptop mode or detached from the tablet. If you're more of a mouse-based creator or artist, you are better off looking at laptop alternatives like the Apple MacBook Pro or Surface Book 2 with brighter screens and graphics performance. For certain professionals, the ZBook X2 G4 blends the best of Adobe integration, pen inking on a lovely 4K panel and workstation grade build in an all-in-one device. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP ZBook X2 G4 Detachable Workstation. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.